Welcome to my page, Deep Spiritual Things with Pastor Queen. Here we talk about God, beautiful things he created like herbs, and all the natural things which we can use spiritually for the benefit of mankind. And we are not limited to spiritual things, as we could also choose to diversify as the case may be. Today I will be teaching you something you will do to stop your stubborn problems, stubborn problems in your life, in your family, in your house, and around you. Like, you know, most times there are this kind of problems that comes in the, when you think you have solved that particular problem. Another problem is knocking at the door. And waiting to get into the house, waiting to get at you. And even when you think you're solving that problem, another problem is waiting for you at the junction. Like, you know, it keeps repeating and repeating itself just like that. You're solving and ending this problem. Another problem is arising. You're solving that. Another one is rising. Like, most times you get tired. Most times you can't even explain what's actually going on. Most times it becomes inexplicable, like you can't explain it. Do not worry. Sit back, relax, and listen to things that I have to teach you today. Give yourself a globe. And this is what is called a globe. I hope you can say this. Get yourself a globe. A block come for. This is what is called a block come for. Get yourself a glove and a block come for. Not a, not a circle come for. Block come for. So when you get them, you get yourself an incense burner. When you get it, make yourself a fire and you get those two things in your hands. On your right hand, you put a hand full of your glove, then on your left hand, you get four block comfort. The four block comfort represents the north, the south, the east, and the west. You bring them close to your mouth, and you begin to pray on them. Like I usually tell you, I don't do anything without blessing it in the unfailing name of the Most High God. In everything I do, I believe in God 100%, 100%. I believe in God because He is the author and the finisher of all faiths. He is the maker of mankind. There is no other power than the power of the Most High God. So you bless those items in the unfailing name of Jesus. You start by doing your prayer of mercy. After that, you do your prayer of thanksgiving. And after that, you begin to bless it. Bless it and say, Father, in the unfailing name of Jesus, as I'm going to use those items you have created for the benefit of mankind, it will work for me in the name of Jesus. Just like you said in the book of John 14, 14, that whatsoever we ask in your name, you will do it. I am asking this in the unfailing name of Jesus with the big faith. And believe that you're going to do it for me. When you are done doing all those prayer on the item, pull out your petition as well. The Father, as I use this, I believe in you that every problem in my life is coming to an end in the unfailing name of Jesus. You just pour out your petition into those things. And after you're done releasing your petition and blessing those items, you get your incense burner. Use it outside your house. Do not do it inside your house. Do it at the door of your house, your entrance door. You put your incense burner at the entrance door of your house. Then you take your glove, your handful of glove, and your four comfort, block comfort. Do not forget, block comfort, not just any comfort. Then you pour them both into the incense burner, and use it as your incense, as you're pouring it, your brain, Father, as this incense is burning, Father, Lord God, let everything that is 
confirmed problem in my house, in my family, in my life, around my children. You know the kind of problems you're seeing that let them all come to an end. That this is your entrance door. As you're burning this incense in front of your house, everything that brings problem into your house, that the entrance is closed permanently. In the unfailing name of Jesus, that as you're burning this here, no power can penetrate, no power of problem can penetrate into the house anymore. When you're done doing that prayer, you take that incense around yourself, you take it around yourself. As you're taking it around yourself, your brain, Father, every problem that comes around me by the power of this incense, let it come to an end wherever you are coming from, in the north, the south, the east, the west, uh, wherever you're coming from, that problem is coming from, let it come to an end. Then which who any family member you have around you, your children, your wife, do well to do the same thing. Take it around them as you're taking it around them. They could also pray and, you know, cast away every problem that as this incense is going around them, it is putting an end to that problem. Every member of your family should let that, you know, that flame of the incense go around them. Then if you still have the incense um, flame, still coming out of that fire, then you could also take it round your house. Not inside, please. Outside. You could take it around your house. That is, you're taking this around your house. Every problem that finds its way into your house, into your family, into your life, come to an end in the unfailing name of Jesus. You just do this for seven days. You could decide to do it in the morning, before sunrise, or you could also decide to do it in the evening or in the night, you could do it any time of the day you like. So long as you do it once in a day, then you do it for seven days. But better done in the morning or at night. Do it for seven days. And by the time you are done doing this, at the seventh day, please take something in form of a seed, financial seed. Take something, pray on it, agree with your family. That as you are done doing this prayer, you thank God for the victory that you know he has given you and your entire household. Then you take that money and say that, Father Lord God, you are blessing the seed in the unfailing name of Jesus. That as you are going to be giving out the seed, let him bless the hands that will collect that seed. And as you are collecting that seed, that let everything that stands as a problem in your life give way. And as, they have, as you are collecting it from your hands. Let the doors of new things, new blessings enter into your life, into your house, into your family. Let it be a new beginning without a problem in your life, in family. You just do this for seven days. And you will thank the God of heaven and earth for the liberation he would give you out of that problem. Then subsequently, you could also choose to be doing it every month. You could be doing it three days in every month. You know why I tell people to always carry out spiritual assignments? Maybe every month. Because your enemies, your chasers don't get tired of chasing you. They don't get tired of throwing you evil arrows. So why would you when you jump and pass, they wait for you at the, at the next junction. So why would you get tired? You do one spiritual assignment and you go back and relax and sleep. No. Please, any spiritual assignment you do, please endeavor to see that you carry it out every month. And as you do it, things will change and turn around for you and your entire household in the unfailing name of Jesus. Thank you all for being a part of this broadcast. And uh, if you know you like what we're doing, please like and follow our page. Then also comment on this post, like it, share it. Share it to your family and friends. A whole lot of people are dying in silence. They don't know what to do. But if you share this kind of post to them, they would know simple things like this that they could do to help themselves out. And also, please invite people to join this page. And as you do it, may the God of heaven and earth bless you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for joining this broadcast. Remain blessed and beautiful. Until I come your way again, God bless you.